Uh, the site's reservoir project aims to create more stored water that our state can use in times of future droughts in the last half hour or so. We told you about the two locations along the Sacramento River where water will be pulled from. Action News Now reporter Diego Moctezuma is at one of the pumping stations in Hamilton City. Diego, will creating a diversion there impact the river's ecosystem? Well, Lauren, it's an off-stream reservoir, so it won't damage um, any fish passages here or impact the fish migrating and spawning from the Sacramento River. Now, the Glen Calusa Irrigation District manages the pumping site here in Hamilton City, and the Tehama Calusa Canal Authority manages the one in Red Bluff. They're, they're both two very large fisheries, and experts tell me that when they start diverting water from the water in these two spots, it will actually help fish and other wildlife habitats. Actually create an environmental water account that can be utilized to help help fish and other environmental resources during uh, challenging uh, droughts that California inevitably, inevitably will experience again. So. Now, sites will provide up to 372,000 acre feet of storage space for environmental uses. It will contribute to the increased fresh water flow into the delta during drier periods. Now, sites will help maintain cold water for salmon and improve conditions for fish in the upper Sacramento River. Sites will create 1.5 million acres of water storage for drier periods. Now, water from the Sacramento River will be diverted here and go through existing pipelines and tunnels into the site's reservoir. Now, um, the water will also come from Funks Creek and Stone Corral Creek. Live in Hamilton City, I'm Diego Moctezuma with Action News Now. All right, thanks, Diego. Construction for the site's reservoir is expected to start in 2026 and be operational by 2032 if everything goes as planned.